Hi there. If you're new here, my name is Rowena and if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you about the eight habits that extremely frugal people share. We save a minimum of 60% of our take home pay and we live on around about $30,000 a year. We are always looking at ways to cut back on our spending, but not reducing our quality of life. So how is it that we are able to save this much of a fairly average income? Do we have a frugal gene? Were we born frugal? No, neither of these things, but we do have a really good money habits and these eight habits I'm going to share with you are the same as what most extremely frugal people do. I've talked about habits in the past and the great thing about habits is that once they're in place, then you just no longer have to think about them and you just go ahead and do them. But the problem is that goes the same for your bad habits. So it is really important to get some really good habits in place around your finances. So let's take a look at the eight habits that extremely frugal people share. When we get paid, the first thing we do is to pay ourselves. That money is transferred into a savings or investment account and then it is no longer accessible to us. And what is left over is the money that we live on. We have a bills account where our mortgage repayment and our annual bills are all deducted from. And then we have a living account which covers all of our groceries and month by month living costs. We also have an emergency fund, which of course is accessible, but we only ever use in case of emergencies. The rest of our money is put away in accounts that we cannot access easily. So if you are new to doing this and new to trying to save a good portion of your income, then I suggest that you do make sure that the money you are saving or investing is put into accounts that you can't easily access. So in my opinion, this habit is probably the most important one of all. And it is a habit that is shared definitely by most frugal people. And that's irrespective of how much money they earn. So we prioritize the long term over the short term in just about everything we do. And this is so important because what we do today is impacting our futures. I'll give a few examples of this. Firstly, a simple one that we all do is we have to eat and frugal people like to eat fairly cheaply. However, I think it is super important that you choose frugal, healthy foods when you are making your choices. There are plenty of cheap, unhealthy options out there to choose, but being frugal is not the same as being cheap because the quality of the food we eat impacts our lives so greatly and it's going to impact you further down the road with how you feel. And also it will impact you financially with added medical costs in your future. And of course, another way we prioritize our long term over short term is by investing and saving as much of our income as we can today. This does not mean that we do not enjoy our lives in the moment. But once again, we are not living just for today. We are living with our future in mind also. Prioritizing long term benefits over short term benefits is definitely something that most extremely frugal people do. Another habit we have that makes us extremely frugal people is that we use up everything we have. We always make sure that we use up our fresh fruit and vegetables before we go out and buy any more. We like to see if we can reuse the jars and containers from products that we've bought, giving them a second purpose. And the interesting thing about extremely frugal people is that they're often environmentally friendly also, given the fact that they tend to buy less and that they tend to reuse more. They are not concerned with buying used things. So all of this greatly impacts the environment in a positive way. 
Other ways we use up everything first I've talked about before as well. We use up every last bit of toothpaste by cutting our tubes. We add water to our shampoo, conditioner, body wash, hand soaps. We make sure that we get every last bit out of the products that we buy. Before we buy pretty much anything, we shop around. I even do this when it comes to grocery shopping. I will jump online, check out the online catalogs for the two main grocery stores I go to, and whichever one has the products that I want on special, I will buy them there. As I've said before, I visit them both anyway, so it's no big hassle to me, but I would prefer to get the products I want at the best possible price. Comparison shopping has saved us so much money over time from the smallest things like our SIM card to the bigger things like buying our house. I shop around for everything from insurances to clothing, anything you can think of. I will always do a shop around to get the best price I can. You can just about always find a cheaper price for something if you are willing to be patient and wait and look around. So I think this is a habit all extremely frugal people share. One of the best ways to embrace extreme frugality is to enjoy being different. Anybody who chooses an extreme frugality lifestyle is definitely going to be different from the mainstream. So you might as well accept it and have fun with it. Driving an older car, growing your own fruits and vegetables, uh, buying used. None of these are portrayed as sexy or appealing by advertisers or the mainstream media. But the truth is this lifestyle can create a happy, fulfilling, wonderful life for you that is not built upon the superficial. Living an extreme frugality life means that just about everything we do is different from the way most people do it. And becoming really comfortable with this enjoying it and looking for new ways to create a wonderful life without spending more is all part of living this lifestyle. So I think habit number five of extremely frugal people is that they embrace being different. Always know where your money is going by having a budget. Now I know budgets are not the most exciting thing in the world to talk about but they are necessary and they are definitely a habit of extremely frugal people. Creating a budget is quite simple. Just start with your biggest cost first like your housing or rent. Go through all of your bills over a 12 month period and then average them out over 12 months. So you come up with a monthly amount that you will need to put aside. If you don't know what your general cost of living is, then I suggest now is a great time to track your spending. No, this is not overly exciting either, but it will give you a really good snapshot of exactly what you're doing with your money. Now, um, I would suggest doing this for at least two weeks, but four would be better. Then you can create your grocery amount into your monthly budget. Then think about your other living costs for the year, like your gift giving, and entertainment, hair, uh, medicines you need, etc. Average that out and you can then have that money set aside each month to cover all of that. I have got an entire video that goes through our budget in detail. So if you haven't seen that already, check that out when you finish watching this video. Uh, but budgets are kind of fluid and it's something that we are always looking at making changes to in positive ways going forward in the future. Now the thing with the budget is it's a guideline only. You do not have to spend every cent that is in your budget. If we have got any money left over in our bills account or our living account, then we will simply put this into savings at the end of the year, but you can do with it whatever you wish. But having a budget and a good guideline to spending allows for a happy frugal life. Another habit that allows us to live a happy lifestyle of extreme frugality is planning ahead. 
I do this in a number of ways. Firstly, when it comes to grocery shopping, I will always meal plan for the week, fortnight or month, however long I am doing my, my shopping for. I will always plan first. And as I said earlier, I will go through my fridge to make sure I use up all the fresh produce in that coming week before I buy anything else. So I am building my menu plan around this. Uh, Whenever I go to the grocery store, I have my meals and I have a shopping list on my phone and I only buy what's on the shopping list unless I find an absolute bargain that I can't go past. Secondly, I plan for birthdays and Christmas in advance because let's face it, they're always the same dates every single year. So there's no excuse not to do this. By doing this, I can really give thought to what I want to buy each person. And it also gives me time to once again, shop around, get the best deal. And if I see anything on super special during the year, I can buy that and put that away for that person. Thirdly, since I have a minimal wardrobe, I always know when something is starting to wear out or and not become good enough to have as one of my outside of the home clothes. Then I will start the process of looking for this item. And once again, by planning ahead, this gives me lots of time to find the best choices for me. And now when I'm looking at replacing any items in my wardrobe, because I only buy one or two pieces a year, I'm looking more at purchasing not just items that I like, but also items that are either recycled or more environmentally friendly and sustainable uh, options like bamboo and cotton, for example. And once again, because I plan for these things, I can often buy things out of season, which makes them cheaper. And I can also wait until something comes on sale, which generally it does. So just by planning a little bit, you can greatly reduce the amount of money that you spend in a year while still getting the same quality of life. Extremely frugal people know that happiness does not come from stuff. We don't look to buy our happiness and that makes this habit such an important part of having a happy, extremely frugal lifestyle. Being happy comes down to you. It is an inner feeling and has absolutely nothing to do with the stuff that you own. Finding happiness in free things can really change your perspective and allow you to save even more money. If you need to spend money in order to create happiness for yourself, then you are going to find yourself on a constant work to spend cycle. Luckily, we both enjoy a lot of free or cheap activities. I love to read and my local library is definitely a place I enjoy visiting often. There are so many books there. I'm sure I'm never going to run out of anything to read. We also both love to take walks and we either take a walk around our local park or we walk somewhere close to home, but in nature. Uh, otherwise we will drive 10 minutes down to the beach and we will have a walk along the beach together. We did that just this weekend. We went out both Saturday and Sunday for a walk and it is just so lovely to be out of the house, have time to talk to each other and just enjoy being in nature. We don't watch a lot of TV, but when we do, we both really enjoy watching Netflix. And I know this is definitely an unnecessary expense, but we do keep this minimal by splitting the cost between four people. So this makes it an, a very affordable entertainment option for us. And since we very, very rarely go out to see a movie, we have our movie nights at home with a big bowl of homemade salted popcorn. And if you don't watch television all of the time, this actually does feel like a bit of a treat. So these are just a few of the ways that we enjoy our lives for free or very, very low costs. Happiness doesn't cost you anything. And like I have said before, gratitude is so important because it will increase your levels of happiness and satisfaction in your life. So these are the eight habits that people who live an extreme frugality lifestyle share. As I said before, the great thing about habits 
is that once they are in place, then you no longer have to think about them and you just do them. So taking the time to create and implement really positive habits is going to have such a positive impact on your life going forward. So embrace extreme frugality and feel satisfied that you are looking after your future by saving money today. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you all again very soon, but bye for now.